welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be exploring one of my favorite topics, trends. I love researching trends and utilizing that research to apply themes to my creative work. We're gonna be specifically looking at what I consider the top 10 trends in graphic design for 2021. Trends are important as they often guide creatives in their work and can have a huge impact on retail. I also believe that they are a good signal of the direction that the creative industry is taking. And while it's important to not just blindly follow trends, it is still really helpful to have knowledge about them and how you can apply them to your own stylized work. I've broken this video down into five categories today. Social consciousness, color, shapes and visuals, illustration, and typography. So let's get started. The first idea I want to jump into relates to social consciousness in the creative industry. I don't want this simply to just be a trend for this year. My hope is this is something that is highlighting a marked change in our world and professional industries that will continue for generations to come. This is the one trend that I believe needs to continue on for infinity because it is important when it comes to healing our world. While we may not be brain surgeons, us creatives and artists are the pulse of culture. So when we're looking at social consciousness, I wanna look at the idea of authentic representation, whether it be in art, design, fashion, what have you. The Black Lives Matter movement represents an unprecedented watershed moment of global protest. I remain hopeful that it's only the beginning of a re-examination of systemic prejudice and that its impact will continue to ripple through every single industry in 2021, including graphic design and art. The importance of diversity and representation will continue to be front and center, um, and being able to showcase other diverse creatives centers around people who need representation. It's important in pushing forward conscious change through our creativity. This idea of authentic representation allows us to inspire and encourage people of all backgrounds all throughout the U.S., specifically people of color, that they have a place, that they are loved and valued, and most importantly, that they are seen. Representation is incredibly, incredibly important. So aside from showcasing diversity in work, I also think it's important to uplift designers, illustrators, and artists of color, to put them in the forefront, to put creatives from marginalized communities into the limelight and showcase how their work is powerful and inspiring and that it's what's needed right now. With this in mind, designers from all over the world are really stepping up to the plate to contribute their talents for the betterment of their community. I've seen this in the rise in creative hand lettering that delivers messages of unity, responsibility, and advice. It comes in the form of protest art. I see it in the design of different social justice actions and community leaders, whether it be Black Lives Matter or the Sunrise Movement. And this idea is to create art with a purpose. And that positively adds to the movements of change that we're seeing all around the world. Most importantly though, when we're looking at this, it's so, so, so important and beneficial to really focus on this idea that we not be performative in our allyship that we actually follow through and implement this change and showcase beyond what is going on right now and what's popular and into the future. Now let's move on to the next section, which is color. So when we're looking at color trends for 2021, I'm still seeing a lot of muted color palettes in kind of like a monochrome and duotone color set as well. So first let's talk a bit about muted colors. So these muted color palettes really took over the graphic design world last year and I don't see any sign of them really stopping anytime soon. So after years of bold and bright colors, people still seem to want something a little bit more relaxed and understated, especially with all of the negative and confusing and loud messages that we've been receiving all over the last year or so. These muted colors kind of feel safe and secure. 
The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the idea of monochrome and duotone. So the idea of a very limited palette has been around for a while in motion design, um, but you're seeing it in graphic design, you're seeing it in the fashion industry as well. And this is partly influenced by a smooth, cool look and vibe, but also as compensation for the increase in illustrations and other really complex graphics that we're seeing. So on one hand, this helps the designers by using your limited time on more complex elements like the illustrations um, and then being able to use more simple color themes. Next, I wanna jump into exploring shape and visual. For 2021, I'm seeing a lot of geometric shapes, which is really interesting because it kind of um, is in direct opposition to the very nature-inspired design that I'm seeing as well. So the idea of using individual shapes to create larger, more complex ones Large blacks and solids often with strong colors and outlines mix and um, also unite to produce these really imaginative combinations. But I just think it's really neat and interesting to see how shapes are being utilized as a way to depict images and ideas in general. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, I'm still seeing a lot of natural inspired design. So many people spent much of this year cooped up inside their homes. So it would make sense that we wanna be surrounded by nature and foliage and this idea of what is on the outside. And personally, I think this, I, this goes even more so for designers who might have experienced their work from home freelance lifestyle begin to kind of resemble like being stuck inside 24 seven. And it may be no surprise then that the outside world will be making its way back into the graphics for this year. Whether this trend manifests in the form of leafy patterns, earth tone color schemes, or illustrations of breathtaking vistas, um, I really see a lot of graphic design going green. So the effect of nature imagery is kind of also meant to impart serenity, renewal, and growth. All that kind of relates back to what we're hoping for in 2021. Another kind of like shape focus uh, trend that I'm seeing for 2021 is this idea of creative visuals being symbolic or symbolism inspired. Historically, symbols are all about meaning and inferring what things mean. So whether this comes in the form of conveying warnings or identifying a cause under a shared iconography, the power of a classic symbol lies in the ability to basically transcend language. Uh, designers are leveraging this power very much so in 2021 to create aspirational icons of resiliency, growth, and empowerment. You see this a lot within social justice oriented um, organizations like the Sunrise Movement. Their symbolism is very, very prominent and key. So it's really interesting to see how designers are really leveraging this power of iconography in 2021 to really create these messages. Now let's take a look at some of the trends that we're seeing with regards to illustration. So for 2021, we're continuing to see a lot of flat icons and flat illustrations. So graphic design trends are pretty cyclical. We saw this style come into popularity, I wanna say maybe a few years ago, and now I'm seeing it back again. If you're creating a ton of visual content, these flat icons are really ideal because they can be adapted for a lot of different graphics like social media visuals, infographics, presentations, and they're really simple and easy to make. Um, they can also be consumed very easily, meaning people can you know, understand them at first glance. So that kind of relates back to what I was talking about earlier with the symbolism. So even if you saw some of these visuals without any context or text, you could still basically understand what the designer is trying to say. Icons can be a really powerful tool for visual communication. So with a few icons, you can tell a simple visual story that will give a lot more context to your social media posts, blog posts, infographics, or any kind of video that you may be creating. The next kind of illustration theme that I'm seeing is cartoon illustrations and designs. So custom illustrations have become a really fun way of getting your design to stand out. Um, the cartoon vibes that you're getting are really creative and playful and have a bit of a retro tinge to them, whether it be like a nod to you know, the mid-century modern illustrations of the 60s 
or the fun visual elements of the 70s. So it kind of helps set you apart in terms of the visuals that you're showcasing out there. And it'll help you stand out against a lot of this, you know, very similar sameness that we're seeing in the web and digital world. Now let's talk about typography for 2021. There are two trends that I'm really seeing um, as a main focus, classic serif fonts and 3D typography. So first let's talk about the classic. So, all right, so for those of you who don't know what a serif font is, let's first talk about that. So these are classic typefaces that include like the embellishments at the end of the letters. Serif fonts are one of the oldest font styles or typefaces that are still in use today. They date back to the 15th century and have been in use ever since then. And because of this, serif fonts are commonly seen as more classic, elegant, and essentially kind of like trustworthy. They can evoke a feeling of nostalgia for a large chunk of the population because it's kind of, it gives back that retro vibe. And it makes sense that after you know, a year of chaos and craziness that people are kind of looking towards visuals that evoke trust and calm and, uh, you know, a, a balanced foundation. So it's interesting to see how these are going to be utilized in the coming future. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, I feel like we get more of a futuristic inspired um, typeface with this 3D typography trend. So same as a lot of these other trends, this specific trend kind of comes in and out of popularity over the years. I think of the 90s and 2000s when 3D was the thing and now here we are in the 2020s and it's back again. And obviously it's very kind of deceptively simple and alluring and it gives great scope for imaginative creations and designs and kind of relates back to that idea of the geometric shapes that I talked about earlier in this video. Ultra realistic lettering that kind of feels like you can reach in and touch it is going to be really popular. And I feel that this, you know, idea of typography design is rapidly becoming a really great symbol of innovation in graphic design. And a lot of people are pulling in some of the most like fashion forward go to techniques and using them in really stunning and imaginative ways within not just, you know, design elements for you know, visual communication, but also for art in general and how they're showcasing that on social media. Okay, so those are the top trends that I see for 2021. Um, now that you have a roundup of the trends, let me know if you're already using them or if you plan to implement some of these ideas or themes into your design work. Tag me on social media at Bella Sophia Creative over on Instagram if you're sharing anything or Bella Sophia HQ on Twitter if you're sharing some of your visual design work that kind of includes some of these trends over on Twitter. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please make make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye